In this module, I wanted to give you an overview of the hospitalization. While each surgery and each patient is different, the flow is generally, barring any complications, fairly similar. Realize that the staff are there, they are invested in your success, the nurses want to see you succeed, improve, become stronger, become more mobile, and to ensure that if there's any issues or complications that arise, that they are caught and dealt with immediately. Understand that every day you get a little bit better, you feel a little bit better, and the overall goal of your hospitalization is to help you gain independence so that you can get up, get moving, do the activities of daily living, brush your teeth, shower, feed yourself, all those things, including walking safely. I encourage you to download the schedule. It just gives kind of a day-by-day -day playbook of what most likely will happen during each day of your hospitalization from surgery until discharge. There are a fair number of daily tests that take place, and that's listed uh, on the downloadable sheet. I encourage you to use your incentive spirometer. The nurses are going to be on you to do that. I hope that your family and friends are on you to do that. The goal is to re-expand those lungs which were collapsed during surgery. There is a process called atelectasis where the lung sacs settle on themselves and can allow a fluid to accumulate and a pneumonia to set in. So even though it's painful and it's not fun, do it anyways. And cough. Use your heart pillow. Cough every one hour. Get those secretions cleared out. It helps to uh, minimize your chance of having a respiratory complication, a pneumonia, a collapsed lung, or anything along those lines which would potentially keep you in the hospital or land you back in the hospital after discharge. It's going to be challenging to get up and walk and move. There are some videos of my first walks at the in the extra section, and uh, you can see that it's certainly a little bit challenging with the chest tubes and pacemaker and all the things attached to you, but you can and you will do it. It uh, seems odd, but you'll be successful, and the nurses are there to help you. And as you progress through your hospitalization, the goal is to remove a little bit each day, whether that's a chest tube, a pacer wire, an IV, a central line, in the end, it will be left with very few things, maybe just one IV, and uh, you'll be so close to discharge that you won't even be able to uh, imagine that you've come this far in just a few short days. Typically, chest tubes can come out on the second or third day. just depends on how much output is there. Most physicians want less than 250 milliliters over the course of a shift or certainly over 24 hours. Uh, it certainly feels good to have those out and to have some freedom of mobility. Pacer wires can come out just totally depending on how your heart responds. And there are other lines such as an internal jugular which is in the neck or a femoral which is in the groin or an art line which can be in the groin or wrist, more commonly in the wrist. All those lines come out and uh, it feels so much better to be untethered from all these devices. Uh, there is a what's called a thora seal. It is a device that collects the fluid from the chest tube drainage and uh, try to be patient by moving and walking. That really encourages the flow of the fluids that are built up in the chest and heart and lung area to flow out into these tubes which are connected to suction and uh, it really speeds the recovery if you can get more active and get moving. There's certainly ups and downs. Uh, this is a picture of, of me just uh, shortly after being extubated having the breathing tube out. I've got my heart pillow there doing a fair amount of coughing after having the breathing tube out. Obviously painful, no doubt about it, I'm not going to lie to you. Use your pillow, hug yourself tightly, and uh, be sure to reposition yourself or have them reposition you in the bed, whether it's slightly on your side, up a little higher, whatever it takes to get you comfortable. The overall goal is to keep your pain below a level of 5 out of 10. I just wanted to give you a brief overview of the hospitalization. Be sure to download the checklist. It'll give you much more specifics about the day-to-day -day playbook of care during your hospitalization.